What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. Listen, hopefully everyone is having an amazing Saturday. I know I am. I was just watching some college football, hanging around on the couch. I was doing a bunch of work this morning on the Metaverse, on Lux Lions, getting ready for the NFTs to come to the XRP Ledger just three days from now. I was sitting around watching the Alabama-Texas game. Great game. Upset is brewing. I can't wait to go catch the end of it. The second half just started a little bit ago. But listen... We got to get into a lot. In this video, we're going to talk about central banks, the IMFs. We're going to talk about NFTs, Ripple. We got so much to cover. JP Morgan talking about XRP's full potential. How about, check this out. How about a bullish breakout zone for XRP. I got that covered as well. We're going to cram it all into one video, and then we're going to get you on your merry little way to enjoy the rest of your Saturday. So let's head over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing out there? I'll tell you what we're seeing. We're still seeing green. I like seeing green. This is going to play right into the last thing in this video. I'm going to show you about the XRP and this bullish breakout zone, the numbers we are looking at, so we can get a very, a very nice breakout on the XRP chart. But in the meantime, Bitcoin is coming in at $21,424. It is at 1.18% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum. $1,737. It is up about 2% in the past 24 hours. We are seeing, seeing the two top stable coins, USDT and USDC, being pegged back to their dollar peg, which is a good sign. But XRP moved back into the number seven spot as it is playing hot potato with Cardano, coming in at 0.356. It is up 3.4%, and it is leading the top coins in past 24 hour performance. That's what you want to see. Bitcoin dominance. It's still about the same from this morning, 38.19% as the total cryptocurrency market cap sits above $1 trillion. Now, I want to just remind everyone, I told you about this in this morning's video. I'm going to tell you about this again because tomorrow before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the last time you can lock this in. Check my Twitter. Lux Lions is doing a survivor pool. All you got to do is pick who's going to win one football game each week. It's very simple. You can't use the same team more than once. Very strategic about this. You get to play for free, folks. Ch try your luck. Even if you don't know anything about football, try your luck. Bunch of games going on. Pick your favorite team name. Hopefully they win. Move on to week two. You're going to win 10 Lux Lines NFTs and one plot of land in the metaverse. You want to get registered now. Now, Crypto Shacks tagged me in this. There is another scam going around out there. I want each and every one of you to be safe. No one is giving you free XRP. No one is telling you to send you their XRP and they're going to give you 2x the amount back. It doesn't work like that, folks. That is what we call a scam. I did just turn off all YouTube comments. I will have to manually approve each and every one. Why? Because there are so many scams going on. I don't want people to get hurt. I don't want people to fall for it. Unfortunately, some people do. You know, they think it's too good to be true. They get in. They start messaging people. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I've been here since 2017. I've been here quite some time. I know what's around, what's not around. This YouTube video going around out there right now, it is not real. Do not forget NFTs. We are that much closer, folks. As each and every one of my videos come out, we are that much closer. 33 yes. We're at a 94% consensus as soon as this two-week window is up which is going to be September 13th at 749 UTC time. It goes live. It goes live. Sunday night into early Monday morning, I will be getting my collection uploaded and minted on Xmart. I will also be putting the plot, the land plot Ds on there as well for the metaverse. This is big. This is the moment we have been waiting for. You know what happened to Solana when NFTs went live. The price went through the roof. Hopefully, this is going to help Xmart. RP. Time will obviously tell, but pay very, very close attention, folks. Now, I want to play this video clip I showed you before, but I want to show it to you again because this is going to really segue us into the rest of the video, right? Listen to Dan Moorhead. This is the Pantera CEO and CEO of CIO for Pantera Capital. Big leverage in terms of, you know, the open interest in the perpetual swap contracts compared to the amount of Bitcoin out there. It looks like the market's preparing for a lift. What do you see in terms of the price? Oh, I, I agree. You know, we've been doing this for 10 years and we've been through three big uh, bear market cycles. And on average, they lasted 220 days. And that's basically what we just had. Uh, so I actually think we hit the lows in June that we'll see. And then we're on to the next 
uh, bull market. And hey, you know, it might be rocky and might take a while to get going, but I think that uh, we're on to the next leg of a rally. And where will that bring us to, Dan? What's your target for year end and then five years out? We well, yeah, Bitcoin as a proxy for our industry has averaged 2.5x a year for 11 years. So that's always kind of my standard forecast is that it'll probably keep going uh, at that same growth rate for a while. But it is really important to remember Bitcoin's no longer everything. There was a time Bitcoin was 100% of the market, and then for a while, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum were essentially everything. Mm. Now there are many, many really important projects, and, and you've seen uh, Bitcoin, you know, rally a bit, but the, the real story is projects other than Bitcoin and Ethereum are rallying more. That is right. That is the real story because you just wait. Folks, if you think for one second that XRP has missed any type of run, if you think for one second that XRP isn't going to make up Miss Crown, you are out of your mind. XRP is going to fly you. Mark my words on this. It will take off. It will soar. Anyone sitting out there telling you that XRP can hit $10, XRP can hit $20, XRP can hit $100, you know what you're going to tell them? You're going to tell them that they're out of their freaking minds and for them to sit on the sideline because as this thing shoots up in value, they're going to be kicking themselves for missing out. That's what you tell them. We are are looking at a real use case we are looking at real utility not this speculation crap that all these other coins have seen what have we seen speculative assets we've seen them go up and then what happens they go right back down and they never go back up you are seeing fundamentals behind x r p remember that and here's the cloud countdown three days and one hour to the nfts go live i can't wait you can't wait now here's an account from the honorable judge torres folks this is just a joking account don't get crazy don't get carried away. This is all a joke. It's all for good fun, right? She goes, statement from the Honorable Judge Torres. Hello, due to your enormous attention and the number of those directly or indirectly impacted by the Ripple versus SEC government proceedings. I have created this public account to notify everyone that we cannot rush justice. Here, here. I commend Judge Netburn for her diligence and application of the law. I also commend her and allow both parties involved the opportunity to exercise their right of appeal and try different approaches to better their position within this litigation. As I will be taking over carriage of these proceedings soon, I can assure both parties and the public that after exhausting rightfully the appeals process on certain issues with my colleague, Judge Netburn, I will be allowing the opportunity for Ripple, the individual defendants of the SEC to again exhaust every avenue of legal appeal Meaning, let's delay it another eight years because the SEC doesn't even know why they have brought up a lawsuit. Explanation of scheme into the possible success of their desired outcome as the law permits. We cannot rush justice at any expense. I couldn't agree more, right? Thank you, Judge Netburn and Judge Torres for everything you are doing. It is quite phenomenal. And now we come over here, Matthew Lionai. Puts this out. And let's just get the date on this before we read it. September 21st, about a year ago, right? The World Bank labeled XRP as a digital currency. Think about that for a second. The World Bank labeled XRP as a digital currency. Interesting, isn't it? I think it is. What's the SEC going to say? The SEC doesn't know what they want to say. Here's the document. Let's do a little fine. Let's just read the section on Ripple. What do you think? It comes down here and it states, Ripple has developed a network based on distributed ledger technology for cross-border payments. The Ripple Net network allows financial institutions to send and receive international payments from a single pre-funded account. RippleNet allows for fiat-to-fiat -fiat transactions, as well as the use of the XRP digital currency to bridge between different jurisdictions. I'm pretty sure last time I checked that the World Bank is just a little bit higher up than the SEC. What do you think? Seriously, what do you think about that? You comment below. I'll see all the good comments because I'm going to approve them one by one. Then we got this, the IMF, the central banks should harness crypto's technical wizardry to enable a rich monetary ecosystem. You got that right. It's not going to be Bitcoin, folks. It's not going to be Ethereum. The IMF back in the day, for as long as I know when I was here, 2017, Christine Lagarde was running the show over there. Her and Brad were skipping, hooking arms, doing that thing into all meetings together. Interesting, right? And then we get this, Polish Mountain says, it's one big club. You can have one piece of the pie as well. 
but time is growing short, JP Morgan knows. They talk about the future potential for Ripple and XRP, and they talk about the adoption, the significant adoption that XRP is being posed for by Ripple, including some of the financial institutions they got on board, like Bank of America, American Express, and Santander, folks. They know. You know. We all know. And we all know what's coming. Then my man XRP Crypto will put this out, a news article from you today, stating that XRP has entered the bullish zone. What are they talking about? Let's scroll down right here. XRP could not show such a rise as Bitcoin's gone down by 1.32%, but XRP has entered the bullish zone after the breakout of the 0.3373 level. If nothing crucial changes until the end of the day and the volume remains high, the test of the next resistance zone of 35 cents can happen by the end of the month. Looks like we are testing that zone right now. Let's break it. Let's push this thing up into the 40 cent area. That would be the best Sunday ever. That will really make my day. A little football, a little NFL, a little gambling, a little bet, and a little drinks. Maybe get some food on the side. Throw it in with a 40 cent XRP. Hey, it's not what we want, but it is the start of something. Got to get out of the 30 cents. Got to make it to 40 cents before we can start talking about 50 cents, before we can start talking about that push up. But we all know where this is going. And all you got to do is sit on your hands, listen to Ripple Van Winkle, and he's going to make sure you get there safe and sound. That's going to do it for me, folks. It's my sister's birthday. I'm going to head over to my parents' house, get some apps, get some dinner, watch the football game, sit back on the couch, maybe throw an ice pack on the old leg, get the quad ready for next week, opening night of kickball. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.